Hey guys, even here, so we have an updated contender list of Arnold Classic 2020. I will try to be as brief as possible with this video, try to provide you with some information who's gonna compete and how these guys may do. Again, I will try to be brief since Nuke's strength and power has already made a video about it, so you guys probably know who's gonna be there. Is it just me or is somebody else also turning the speed up when watching Nick's two videos? Anyways. First on the list we have Lionel Biecki. This guy is young, he has all the potential in the world, he has amazing muscle bellies, but he will probably not bring condition. He never brought it in his life. So it's a huge wild card. He could win the show. He could be an extraordinary common, but we cannot really rely on that. William Bonek, my favorite to win the show. He's always consistent with his conditioning and with overall shape, so he probably will win it. He was the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia. Max Charles, probably one of the last places. Uh, probably better than Johnny Jackson. Here you can see Johnny O. Jackson is making a comeback. Probably an emotional and wrong decision, but it is what it is. Big Remy. Big Remy is also a potential to win the show. It's probably gonna be between him and William Bonnock and also Rolly Winkler, who is uh, on the end of this list, and these three guys have the best previous performance. Dexter Jackson decided to jump in who is also a potential to be probably in the top three. He can crack the top threes one, if one of these guys is off with the conditioning. Johnny Jackson, emotional decision, probably wrong decision, he will probably be last place in this show. Not a smart uh, move for him, if you ask me, probably. Steve Kuklo, a potential to be in the top three, top four, but probably top six. Same thing with uh, Josh Nartowitz. Victor Martinez is probably going to be one of the last places, um, but I do expect him to beat... Um, Johnny Jackson and also Max Charles, maybe even. Um, Cedric McMillan, a wild card. If he brings insane conditioning, he may even take over and win the show, but that's like not really a big chance. Patrick Moore, not really a potential to win the show since he's too small for these guys. Maybe in a couple of years he can be the next Mr. Olympia, but not now. And right now he can crack the top five, top four uh, tops, but probably not, probably like top six. Um, then we have also Sergio Olivia Jr. This guy didn't really grow that much in the offseason, so I expect him to be, I don't know, top 7, top 8, and the same thing I expect of uh, Kim Williams, who is huge, but never really conditioned. He has a thick skin. And the last here is Rolly Winkler. I expect Rolly to be probably uh, top 3. It's really up to him how conditioned he comes. It's all about Rolly's conditioning. If he comes conditioned, nobody can challenge him except Remy, but Remy was never conditioned before, so we don't even know if it is possible physically for him. It was possible for Rolly back in 2018 Mr. Olympia, so we know that Rolly can be conditioned, and if he really comes conditioned, he will win the show. If not, it's gonna be William Bonek, who I have my bets on, since he is the most consistent bodybuilder here, and also the Mr. Olympia runner-up. Sean Roden is not on the list, that means he is probably not gonna compete, he may jump in in the last second if they let him, if his law issues are resolved by then, which is probably not gonna happen. I could have made a 15-20 minute long video, but I just wanted to be brief. Tell me guys, what do you think? Who's gonna place where? Like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe guys for more videos like this. All the best and bye bye.